Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly update show. Wow. Wow. We'll get to the wow part in a second. If you are brand new to the channel, guys, um, welcome aboard. Well, welcome aboard. I'm still a little, uh, still a little uh, shocked what we saw today. Uh, good shot, but uh, shocked nonetheless. But if you are brand new to the channel, uh, welcome aboard. Uh, only thing we ask is if you like the content, if you like uh, the unbiased approach on a daily basis, all we ask for is take one second, click a thumbs up on the broadcast, share, comment, whatever you like, uh, but more important, guys, I, I want everybody to uh, really appreciate the fine art of technical analysis and how cool it really is. And uh, today was one of those days that you turn around and you go, wait, what happened? Yeah, it happened. And we'll get to NVIDIA in a second. Uh, going into today's session, the first week of the year, we saw the NASDAQ down 3.3%. Uh, we had three consecutive closes. Uh, below the 20-day moving average. We talked about that 400 level. And the question was going into uh, today's trading session was, well, the strong names. And we identified the strong names uh, over the weekend. Uh, Meta, right? Meta and NVIDIA and AMD. The question was, were those three stocks able to wake up the weaker ones? We talked about the weaker names over the weekend. It was Microsoft, it was Amazon, it was Tesla. All three last week tested their 50-day moving average. So the question was, were the strong stocks going to be able to pull the weaker ones uh, off the, the floor? Or are the weaker names going to drag everything down? Because again, we keep this in mind, we were up almost 55% of the queues for 2023. We got our answer very, very quickly, right? Number one, we knew the bulls, and if you were watching the broadcast the last four or five days, you kind of know the importance of the bulls reclaiming back the $400 area because not only was the 400 area just a, not even a psychological area, but that represented uh, the 20 day supply that acted previously as 20 day support. So we knew that part. We also knew. If the bulls couldn't muster any type of rally this week, we were going to get down to that 390 level that we talked about as well. Well, the bulls did their job today, okay? They absolutely did their job today. The big picture, a uh, huge rally today. The NASDAQ was up 320 points or 2.2%, still down about 1% from last week, but nevertheless, a really, really great move. Uh, the S&P today one uh, got about a 1.4% rise. Last week, they lost about 1.5%, so they're almost flat. And then Dow, com Dow Composite up about 5 tenths of a percent today, uh, pretty steady. Uh, but where the spark really began today was NVIDIA, right? So if you guys remember going back two, three weeks ago, if you guys remember, and this was a you know running joke going around, the best trader on the planet is Nancy Pelosi. It's not that far of a reach anymore. So her husband bought, if you guys recall, he bought about $5 million worth of, I forgot which, which series it was, but she, you know they bought deep out of the money calls with short-term expiration. You guys remember that? And a couple of weeks ago, we talk, kept talking about it, it, just, it just couldn't get above this range. It couldn't get above this range. And then last Friday, we had this really big, powerful breakout on NVIDIA above uh, above that 485 level, and the stock put in a nice close. And the question going into today's session was, can this be one of the strong stocks that can continue to break out? It did. I, I would say it did, and that's a, that's a very, very understatement. Uh, this, morning, uh, this morning, news came out of uh, China is allowing, or actually the other way around, I think the video was just allowed to sell their AI chips to China. If you guys remember, that was kind of a big deal with the whole uh, Biden administration saying, hey, we can't sell chips to China. And they got the word go. And this is one of those scenarios, if you guys remember the last couple of days, they were buying the 510s, the 520s, even the 530 calls 
This was, again, another example of, hey, somebody knows something. You throw in a little bit of Nancy Pelosi little action here, yada, yada, yada. You had this majestic, absolutely majestic move uh, on the stock. Absolutely crazy move. And it took literally everything up with it. Anything that tested the 50-day moving average last week uh, just absolutely woke up. And you could see chart by chart by chart. Amazon, you could see tested the 50-day last week, exploded today. Tesla uh, challenged the 50-day moving average. Again, maybe a little bit underperformance compared to everything else, but still a $3 move. Tesla still needs a couple of days to get out of the, all the supply zone here. Uh, Microsoft is another one of those stocks, you know, tested the 50-day moving average and broke above, right? Took out a four-day channel. So even Apple, Apple hasn't seen the light of day probably in about two weeks, had a really nice engulfing candle today and reclaimed three days worth of action and reclaimed back the five-day moving average. So it really does show you how, you know, you can't be tied into, um, you know, tied into a, an opinion, right? You always, the, the one thing I say every single night, hey, we're prepared for the market, right? We're prepared on both sides. We don't know which way the market's going to go tomorrow, right? We're, we're prepared on both sides. And I think if you're a trader and you're not prepared on both sides of the market, then you have to hope that your game plan plays out. You know, if you're a trader, okay, a trader, and you take off your investor's hat and you're trading the price action you have, not the price action you want, you're doing your job, and that's the most important part. And when you look at today's session, how the market closed, and you see where the cues are right now, you can see we reclaim back the 20, we reclaim back the 5, we reclaim back the linear regression line. The last area of supply that the cues really need to get above is the January 2nd highs. This is the whole where the whole sell-off started from. So if we could reclaim back tomorrow, okay, we can get a close above 406 on the queues. Well, why can't we go back to 52 week highs? You can see here how the stock, how the ETF closed right at the 10 day. Again, the 10 day, if you've uh, watched any type of materials from the PS60 theory, which was the workshops, the webinar, whatever it is, you kind of know that the, the 10 day moving average is the birth of the trade. So if you can see here perfectly, the queues stopped at the green line. So if tomorrow they could confirm, maybe we get a day two, and, but, but boy, oh boy, I tell you one thing, today was, you know, you, I've seen some powerful individual name rallies, okay? But when you look at NVIDIA, this was something, you know, out of the ages. There was literally one, there was literally one red candle for the whole day, okay? And, and this is, and it's trading up another $2 after the close, after being up $31.5. When you look at the pivots that we had today, I only put in five pivots, right? The two the two stocks that we talked about on the video uh, over the weekend, Meta 350, 350 needs to build, and NVIDIA 5, 495, 50 needs to build, right? And everything else is on the downside. Tesla, Amazon, right? Tesla, Amazon, and Microsoft. So the stocks that we discussed on the weekend video, we, we were watching to the downside, and these two stocks, we were watching to the upside. And, you know, as you can imagine, yeah, they, the ones that confirmed to the upside confirmed really well. Uh, here was Meta, this uh, 350, 350 needs to build. Uh, Meta closed pretty much within 20 cents of the high of the day, up seven bucks in the day. This thing is close to getting back above uh, the December highs, but this was the trade of the day. I mean, this was the, you know, the trade of the day, hello. I mean, this is this is the trade of the last you know, last few weeks. Uh, 495.50 needs to build. And, you know, after the close, I get all these emails, my biggest day, my biggest trade. Yeah, I mean, that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to tend to happen when you have a $31 move with pretty much only one, literally only one uh, remount, one back test day of the whole day, one red candle of the whole day. This is the stairway to heaven. And not only did it get above the 495, it finally got above the 500, finally got above uh, last year's uh, last year's highs, and it also took out. If you guys remember those earnings highs, those earnings highs from two quarters ago from 520. So they were coming today, guys. No joke, all day 520s, 25s, 30s. Uh, I saw one guy come in for the end of January 550 calls. And look, I don't have a position overnight. I sold it. I, I I couldn't get a dip to get back in. You know, we we took about 11 and a half off the open. The damn thing never came in. It never came in. I was waiting for it, waiting for it. I was like, listen, I just can't chase this thing up 31 points. I'm going to regret it tomorrow. You know, would it shock me tomorrow? 
Um, you know, I don't have any overnight. I, I know it's gonna. I, I know I'm gonna regret it, not taking it, but it's, especially it's up another two dollars after the close. But if we can get some sort of washout tomorrow morning, some sort of early morning profit taking, and get a re-entry at on a rising sixty minute support, consider that like a post Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Happy New Year, Happy you know Festivus present because. Uh, again, the way this damn thing is trading, there's not even a, a, a downtick, not even, at, you know, not even uh, after the close. So I know a lot of you guys are still have runners. Uh, congratulations. Phenomenal trade. Phenomenal, phenomenal trade. Uh, and this is definitely going to be uh, one uh, for the ages. But what the good news is, the good news is one trade is never going to make your career. Uh, one trade is never going to put you in a different tax bracket. But what it, it's gonna, going to do is, again, give you a, a sense of accomplishment. And that's the name of the game. We, we recognized the pivot. We, we knew where their mass macro uh, adjustment is going to be, where the point of reference is going to be. And this turned out to be an absolute uh, an absolute phenomenal move. And congratulations for all you guys uh, who took it. But what this is setting up for tomorrow, and again, obviously, I'm looking for any type of weakness uh, into, the, into the name. But here is kind of what I'm looking at for tomorrow. Um, I'm looking for a potential day two, right? And day two names, you have Apple. Let's see if Apple can give us a day two, maybe give us a pushback to... 50 days supply. Tesla, again, I still think Tesla probably needs a day or two. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe if it starts taking out the range from a couple of days ago, you can see there's still a lot of supply there. But Amazon, uh, Amazon, they were coming for uh, late January, massive size in the 150 weeklies. Uh, excuse me, in the 150 uh, calls. It still needs a little bit of work. It's still below the 20 and the 10 day moving average. But this thing looks uh, really, really uh, good as well. Look at Netflix, right? Look at Netflix. Netflix, again, had a horrible couple of weeks and today engulfed basically about a week uh, worth of selling and close above the 10-day moving average. If Netflix starts building above the 10-day tomorrow, this thing could wake up as well. So we're, you know, we're set up. Microsoft as well. Again, you don't have to be uh, very creative. If we can get any type of uh, light volume uh, red open would really, really help things out. But if in case the market does gap up, uh, if you go through the NASDAQ 100 names, and I, I pretty much trade now exclusively 10 names, literally the same 10 stocks, Microsoft, Microsoft, Meta, Google, Apple, Amazon, Tesla, NVIDIA, uh, Netflix, Netflix from time to time. Um, but, you know, it, I, I'm very, very specialized right now. And because I'm very, very specialized, I've completely omitted anything that I'm not, you know, I'm not familiar with because when these stocks get going, and today was... Absolutely, the 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 essential exhibition, you know, exhibit A, exhibit B, and exhibit Z. When these beta names get going, and there's institutional money flow behind it, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Usually, something really, really special is going to happen, and that's exactly what we saw today. Guys, have a great night. Okay, that's it. Great nights for at least one day. The Bulls had a great close, and now for tomorrow, the Bulls need to reclaim back 406, and 406 will reclaim back the 10-day moving average, and will start giving us airspace back to 2023 highs. Guys, God bless. Great way to start the Monday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.